What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Terry, speaking from the garage shop again. Here to offer you some more Big Bang for the Buck Project info. Yeah, how you guys doing? So we're putting the finishing touches on the fuel tank, so we put it back in the truck and be cruising. But we're going to get back on this. Right now, we're going to go over there because Aramoto sent me a box, and I know it's got some goodies in it. And uh, let's go open it up. I'm so excited. Open the box, and this is what I got. Aramoto sent some check valves for the fuel system on the Phantom bucket. Now you can get them for just about any aeromotive setup that you have. See, now this is slick. There's five of them, and you put these in the opening at the bottom of the bladder of the fuel pump. And uh, it will allow fuel, the ball, with the ball, will allow easy access for the fuel to go in. But when fuel wants to leave, the ball shuts it down. So this is like Roche Motel technology. Fuel check in but it ain't checking out. <laughs> Let's install them. You see, you have the holes on the bottom of the bladder and the check valve, poke it through just like that. Make sure you have enough room to put the lock. Just slide the lock on. And there you go. This is slick. When it's all said and done, this is what it's gonna look like. And when you install the foam, want to make sure the foam is on the inside of the check valve, not on the outside, just like that. So the foam is behind the check valve. I just got to remove the foam to put it in the tank. <laughs> in boxing, we have what's known as the one-two combination. That's jab and it come with a cross. Arrow mode is one-two combination along with the baffle check valve introducing the Apex Jet Siphon. Let me explain to you how it works. You remember a couple of videos back where I mentioned that I was on a hill and my truck just died because it ran out of fuel? That wouldn't have happened if I had this. By using the vacuum that's created by the fuel going out of the pump, this is able to siphon fuel right back directly into the pump. It's a game changer. Check this out. Flip the unit upside down, just like this. There's an opening right there. It's closed off, but I know this is the right size, so I'm gonna just twist it out here. And as the fuel goes out, it will create a vacuum where we're gonna install that siphon. There you have it. Now the Apex kit also comes with this hose, and this hose is kind of special. You see the opening right there? That's for the fuel to be sucked in go to the apex and drop right into the bucket. And now if you have a metal fuel tank, this is a magnet where it just sticks wherever you want it. And I know what you guys are thinking. Hey Terry, I don't have a metal fuel tank. I have a fuel tank just like yours and yours is plastic. That's true. That's why Aeromotor gives you this extra magnet. Now, this magnet is strong, all right? And so basically what you'll do is you'll sandwich the fuel tank between the two magnets, like this. Here's the hose, the tank, and the magnet. And you can pretty much put this anywhere you want. <laughs> now I use the magnet, and I think I got the holes where I might want it. And we'll see. You see the holes? See right there in the corner, and close to the corner. Okay. I think that's one I wanted to stay. Now, should you need some more clarification on how that aeromotive technology works, I got my man Brian on standby. Hit him with that knowledge, B. Using a jet siphon system, this product can actually pull fuel from the furthest corners of your tank. This is a big deal if you have a late model car with a saddle tank. You can actually drop the, the associated tube over the other side of the saddle tank to make sure you're pulling from the bottom and the farthest point away. Also, if you have a metal tank, there's an associated magnet that will take the pickup and seal it to the bottom of the tank at the perfect depth. Now, as we watch this demonstration, what you're seeing here is the fuel being pulled up through the jet siphon technology up into the phantom pump. Now, there's baffles here at the bottom of the phantom basket, basically, where the foam is that allow the fuel to stay inside the foam and not run back into the tank. What this means is that the pump will always have a fuel supply no matter how low it gets in the tank or how far away the fuel is trying to rush from the pump. 
The great thing about this jet siphon technology is that it's self-flooding. What does that mean? It means that even if the siphon sees a little bit of air, the siphon action won't be broken and fuel will be very quickly soon there to follow. That was smooth. <laughs> hey, Brian, I think they need a little bit more clarification with the check valves. Hit it. Great modular addition to the Phantom Apex in a separate part number are these check valves. These are PTFE ball check valves, so it's very tough. They're not going to be affected by different fuel types, and they allow fuel to travel in around the foam surrounding the pump, but they don't let it escape. Along with high G-load road racing applications, this is a brilliant solution for those of you that are into four-wheel drives, rock crawling, any of that kind of stuff, rock bouncing. The reality is sometimes your rig is going to be sitting at a high angle for many minutes at a time. If you're stuck trying to pull the winch cable out, what do you need? You need the fuel to stay in the bladder, so when you go to start your vehicle, there's plenty of fuel there to run. Available in a 340 and a 450 liter per hour application. We're talking about close to 600 horsepower naturally aspirated for the 340 and well over 900 horsepower for the 450. That means you can feed even the toughest of street cars, very serious street strip machines, but most importantly, your road racing and autocross cars that are gonna have a lot of fuel slosh in the tank with the Phantom Jet Siphon technology, the pump's never gonna run dry. And with those check valves in there, neither is the basket. That boy good. Brian, Seema, dinner's on me, bro. <laughs> All right, so the tank's back in. Now, if you guys remember the video I did on fuel starvation, in that video, I had the tank out and I tilted the tank about three inches. And then I put three gallons of fuel in and you could see the fuel rush to the front of the tank away from where the pump would be. Right now, I only have one gallon of fuel in this truck and it has a seven inch rake. So now the tank is sitting probably like this, all right? So now the only fuel that the pump would get is the fuel going from the inlet where you pump the gas to the front of the tank, the fuel that is trapped in the travel of going through the baffle with those check valves. So we're hoping the check valves are holding some type of fuel so at least the car will start. And once the car is started, the siphon will start scavenging the fuel from the front, dropping it off in the bucket, again, where you got those check valves, which will do the Roach Motel technology where the gas will check in, but it won't check out, and it will keep the car running. Remember, I only have one gallon of gas in the truck. Let's try to start this vehicle up. All right, let's give it a shot. It's on on E with one gallon of fuel in the tank. I'm gonna let it run for a while. Oh look it, look it. You see the yellow fuel light? It just came on. Look at that. Now remember, the truck is raised in the back seven inches. Right about now. With the stock pump, this truck wouldn't even start it. It only has one gallon of fuel. So the siphon is scavenging the fuel from the front of the tank to feed the bucket. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> and don't forget, anytime you do major work to your fueling system, always check your fuel regulator. You want to make sure it's running at the proper PSI. And if you do have to reset it, make sure you set it when the engine is at idle. There you have it. We installed the check valves in the baffle with the gas checks in but doesn't check out technology and the apex siphon good to the last drop. That's the one-two combo guaranteed to knock out any starvation issues you might possibly have. That's right. Yeah. So, but I'm looking at the clock on the wall. Or should I say ceiling? Time for me to head on off. But before I do, I want to give a big shout out to the good folks at Aeromotive for allowing me to spotlight some of the newest products. And I really appreciate it. And of course, to you guys for the love, the questions, the comments, keep them coming. That's right, because I'm all about answering them. If you see something that you like, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit all the stuff. I don't have to tell you. It'll definitely knock out that bell so you get notified when I put a video out. But until we meet again, 
always, be easy. And I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care.